Well, what's going on guys? So today, we cleaned up the garage a little bit, didn't really make a whole lot of progress. I uh, cleaned up the uh, center caps of those kind of old Buick wheels I had. And I put these uh, little stickers I found, center cap stickers. The guy also had some SS ones, but he was out of stock, so maybe I'll switch those up down the road. Found some miscellaneous lug nuts, two different kinds, but they're overall pretty good. The car's up on stand, so that can only be one thing. I uh, took the wheels off, took them to work today. So there you go, all the tires are off the old uh, keystones. And put them on these, so I think they'll look pretty good. So I'm uh, put these things on, drop it down. Hopefully I like it, otherwise I'll switch them right back. Yeah, I'll get to that, drop down. You guys tell me what you think. So there we go, new wheels are on. They're definitely not, I mean, SS wheels, but they have the SS kind of look to them. You know, the back spacing's different on the on the Keystones. They, they spaced them out, they're eight inch wide and they had uh, you know, an extra inch of back spacing. So the tire's tucked in a fair bit, but I mean, that's kind of how it would have been, I guess. And those other ones, they actually did rub the, uh, the lip, which is a pain, so. I don't know, try it out, see if I like them or not. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Worst case, and I always put the keystones back on, but I kind of want to try them out on the 55, actually. I've seen a few of them on the internet. Gasser style 55 Chevys with keystones, that actually looks kind of good. So uh, I'm going to get to finish cleaning up the garage. I'll bring you guys back, and it should look much nicer than this. And then uh, drive shaft wiring, all sorts of boring stuff there. Well, it's a nice day out. I've been kind of finishing up the garage. But uh, I wanted to clean up the Chevelle a little bit, so I ended up buying some uh, magic erasers because it's got so much of this uh, surface rust and kind of stuff all over it, and then the, the deck lid as well. It's like it's sat outside. So I'm going to see if I can just kind of get some of that off with a magic eraser and maybe give it a little polish after and bring some of it back so it looks uh, a little bit nicer. But uh, I'll do a couple coats, kind of show you guys how it turns out, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So there we go, I don't know if it'll show up on camera too well, but this side's all beaten and rusty, and now this side, I split it kind of down the middle. It came out pretty decent, so it's still got little spots I gotta do yet, but a little bit of super clean and a magic eraser really made a big difference, so I'm probably gonna do the whole car, I think, now, just so it doesn't look quite so ratty. Well, check this out. So lots of scrubbing, I probably got a half hour into this, but uh, I mean, a lot of the rust came off and all that, so I'll give it kind of one more little once over, all the spots I missed, let it dry and see if I can maybe polish it back up and hey, it's not perfect, but the further you get away, the nicer it looks, right? But yeah, so I'll get, uh, let that dry, maybe I'll do that and then up on the roof I get the same thing. It's really kind of all over the place there, so I'm hoping I can get a lot of that off. Polish it up, make it look nice, because the roof really does bother me. I mean, the doors and the fenders are kind of whatever. And there's some miscellaneous stuff on the hood, so if I can bring back the, the deck lid, the roof and the hood maybe, I think I'd be doing pretty good. So about half done the car with the uh, magic eraser. I took just a little bit of polish. I did just this one little corner here. I don't know if it'll show up, but you can really tell where I stopped. And it actually really shined up just the edge, which I didn't even know it was gonna do, because it's really kind of beat. You can see how it's nice there. And then the, the roof is real dull, but all the rust is off. You can kind of see how the other side is. And I just did the top of the fender, top of the door. And then I did the uh, hood, half the hood. And it had just a bunch of like these kind of watermark spots and stuff in it. And I uh, took a lot of that out. So I think it should work out pretty good. It's got a bunch of stains all over it. But I'm hoping I can get the hood kind of looking pretty decent. Finish off the uh, rest of the roof and the trunk. And then wash it real good. See if I can polish up the top spots. Make it look a little uh, less faded. All right, let's put an hour later. It's got it all kind of somewhat cleaned up i just washed it but there's no more big stains which is nice the roof's all kind of one shade of green and the back came out the absolute best so pretty happy with it should be pretty good i think i'm gonna go have some supper i'll be back out later on me working the 55. <clears throat> well sidetracked again uh, after supper a guy actually sent me a message i've been looking for a drive shaft and the guy had one, the exact measurement I wanted. It was 40 bucks, so I went out there and grabbed it. I slid into the car. It fits perfect. 
Obviously, I need some conversion U-joints, so it'll be all perfect. But lower some of those up, and then I can clean this up, slide that in. I actually got a new rear seal for the transmission, so I should be able to do that. U-joints, paint this. That'll go in. And then, I mean, radiator. Radiator and some accessories, then it's, uh, it's a driving car. Rough driving car, but... Yeah, but anyways, that's soaked up pretty much the whole night. I've kind of had it, so I'm going to go in. I know I accomplished nothing today, and this is kind of a useless part of the video, but I'll be back at it tomorrow and hopefully make some progress and actually install this thing. But that's it for tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, next day yet again. So I got the... Uh, obviously, I'm going to start put the radiator in. So I put this fan on. It's a flex fan, which I hate, but it's uh, good for mock-up anyways. I might have to space it ahead just a little bit more. Uh, I do have a spacer somewhere, but I don't know if I have long enough bolts. So I'm going to be working on that, get the radiator in, try and get it hung, even if it's just hung in by uh, the rad hose or something like that. And then I might wire wheel this drive shaft a little bit, give it a quick coat of paint. It should look good, but uh, yeah. So I'm going to start chopping up this uh, old core support I got for some spare metal. See if I can get it in there, maybe I'll ratchet strap it in there and yeah, see what it turns out like. Alright, so the radiator's kind of... Just sitting in there, I ended up, uh, so that's this bar I ended up putting across. I kind of notched it for the frame. I just have it vice gripped on. All I'm just bolting it down. Radiator sitting on, I just have a couple of hoses holding it. These are clearly not the right ones. I'll need some universally ones. That gives me a couple inches of uh, air space because I still have this, like I said, I got to space the fan up probably another inch, so that'll be perfect. I redropped the uh, front end. It's got lots of room in the front, so everything's kind of going good. The next thing I got to figure out now I gotta put some sort of bracket up the side and uh, and clamp it on the top somehow. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do just yet. Cause it has to be fairly strong. So I'm thinking I wanna have the limiting straps go to the uh, the radiator and its whole mount and all that. So when I put it on, I might have to, you know, brace it back to the frame or something. But uh, I don't know. You guys will know shortly after I do. All right, so. I think I've got a plan for how I want to mount this radiator. Uh, like I have the bar across, so I want to run something up the side and then triangulate it down. My old man had this old cart that he had no use for, so it's got some sort of rectangular tubing. So I think I'm gonna do that, build you know something up the side of the radiator, something back down to the frame. I should be good with that. And I'll say, oh yeah, so uh, I cleaned up this drive shaft. I took a little bit of flack on Instagram for having a Use drive shop, you can't even tell. Brand new. So I got a few U joints for that. Should be able to slam that in this weekend. Well, I'll do some measurements here. I'll chop this uh, cart up into a uh, rad support. Who knew, right? So I've messed around here. This is kind of my rough idea of what I'm going to do. It's obviously just tacked together. But ultimately, I have a little bit of triangulation. I'll be able to have a couple of bolts. I'll bolt it right down to the frame and it'll sandwich actually the bar that's going to run across underneath. So I'll, be, I'll build another one for the other side. And then on the top here, it's taller than read right now. So I'm going to have to kind of slice it there and put a little uh, bracket kind of thing or something on it. And I'm just going to lay a piece all the way across, some rubber and stuff like that, top and bottom, sandwich it all together. And that should be lots of strength, I'm thinking. So this one will fit actually on the other side, uh, just I'll have to place it differently on the little uh, base I've made. So I'm going to copy these measurements and build another one, put on the other side, mark some holes, drill it in, and hopefully I'll finish uh, that up before the sun goes down. So I got both sides walled up, they're pretty ugly yet, I gotta you know, wire wheel them, clean them all up, and then uh, paint them black. But I got both sides on, I gotta trim it down a little, it's a little tall, but ultimately I'm thinking I'll just end up having a Kind of a bar across like that, clamp it all down. Life should be good. I'll just have to, like I guess I put a little angle iron right there and I can bolt it tight. A little rubber top and bottom. And that should be plenty strong for the radiator. And then I'll just have to trim up around the frame so it looks kind of nice. Bolt it all down. And uh, yeah, that's it. But it's actually getting dark out, so I'm going to call for a night. I'll finish this project up tomorrow and probably this video. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm working away on this. Uh, rad support it's not going quite as nice as i was hoping but uh, i mean it's all just kind of scrap steel so i got my little kind of a frame there i bolted it down the frame i did both sides uh, i ended up putting a strip across the top it actually has a little plate that sits in the uh, radiator so the radiator can't move back and forth 
Uh, I just have it clamped on right now. I'll probably, you know, clean the edges up, put a nut and bolt on each side. I am cutting the hole a little bit too big for where the, uh, the cap is. So I might redo this piece. I didn't have a hole saw big enough for that. So it's hard to cut a circle or grinder. So it's there. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not gonna move around or anything like that. I don't have any rubber in there yet. So once I put some rubber across the bottom and the top, it should stiffen it up. It's got lots of room on the sides. It's not going anywhere. I got, uh, one universal radiator hose. I got to work on the bottom one there. But I think that's it for now for me for this video. This is beating me, but it's uh, it's there. It's enough. I can run the car. I'll take it all apart, weld it properly, paint it black. And if I get to it again, I get to it again. If not, that's where it is. Uh, I ended up picking up a bunch of uh, conversion U joints, so I got to go from that uh, 1350. Uh, yoke down to uh, whatever the G body is then back to a 1310 for the factory rear end so that's what we're working on next but uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel like the video tell your friends really appreciate it and I'll be back uh, doing drive shaft stuff